hi and welcome to Northeast Iowa this is Karen I have a really special video today I've uh, created a new book altered journal and I wanted to share this with you uh, so I hope that you enjoy this so here's the big reveal it's the first time I've done anything like this on the cover so I'm really excited about it these are Prima flowers uh, I found them at Hobby Lobby on clearance. This is just a doily that I had. And then I put a little bit of lace here. And I put some faux pearls with flat backs on it. Um, I did cover the spine with this black fabric. I did not know I had the white art glitter glue. So I need to find a bit of lace to put down the middle. I have it at a retreat that I'm at. So without further ado, here goes with the with a journal uh, flip through. So I just left this page blank to allow the owner to uh, fill it in how they would like. I did use this digital. I It's dogs and cats. I will put the name in the description box below because I don't remember it off the top of my head. Here's just a little belly band, and I had this card that I thought fit well. A good bit of extra journaling space. Um, this is just some paper that I coffee dyed, and I did um, I did ink around the edges of the pages too to give them a little bit of a an aged look. Um, this is also from the digital. This is just some music that I had, a little paper scrap for a tuck, a few more little things to go in here. I did um, fold this in ink here to make it look a little bit older, but those just fit. A little bit of lace on the edge. Yeah, I was at a retreat this weekend and I had the book altered and I was able to glue the pages um, into pockets and stuff. And then put it on my papers and the ephemera. And then there's just two little... I thought this um, this was from a Dollar Tree paper pack. It just gave it a little nice texture. And then I like the little puppies peeking out. Um, added a little tag there with a quote, A garden is a friend that you can visit anytime. Another digital. Um, this is paper that I coffee dyed. A uh, little bit of extra paper and then some coffee dyed uh, paper from a composition book. Another digital. This was a free digital. I don't remember who those were from, but I use them because the colors fit. Um, here in my first top pocket. I have just a big journaling card, and I use the whale tail punch to uh, add a little tab to grab onto. I had so much fun making this. Uh, everyone was asking, what do you do with your journals when you're done? And I'm like, I, I, I don't know, because this is the biggest journal I've ever made. Um, but one of the ladies flipped through it she was helping me with some decisions that I made and uh, she goes Karen this is a work of art I don't know how anyone could journal in this and I'm like well that that's the point of what you're supposed to be doing in these uh, this here is uh, from a quilt book an old quilt book I just I'm a quilter so it fit and yeah, and then this is an actual old paper pad that my mom had. I remember it being in her kitchen when I was a kid. So years ago, I snagged it because I just loved how it looked. And then here's the pockets. This, I just, it's two pages of, um, it was a printable. I don't remember where that one came from either, but I have the information that I can add. This is just some of that parchment paper I just folded to make a little extra journaling space. Just some little pieces of paper that I had. This is a tag from the journal. 
piece of um, old magazine. Again, it's more of that coffee dyed uh, composition paper. I made this little tag. Just a second, I need to pause. Sorry about that. So this is just old magazine. Um, and then this was from the printable. I made a little tag to go here. Some more vintage trim. Uh, this trim is from Dollar Tree, I believe. And this is just vintage trim. So this is an instance where I didn't um, glue these pockets together and make sure the page was folded down because you'll notice it has a wrinkle, but to me it just adds to the to the crinkly of the book. Um, here's some coffee card cardstock, um, a little sticker on some more magazine, another pullout. <laughs> Sadie, no. Uh, this is more trim from the Dollar Tree. Another pullout up here. And then this I found in an old quilt magazine. And I thought it fit perfectly. It's Patchwork by Ruby T. Webburn. Uh, small cut pieces cut in quaint design. Bright colors that have scarcely faded. Exquisite stitches, true and fine. Wrought by her little hands. Unaimed. Have made of it a thing of dreams, like some old cashmere or a bukahara, so eloquent in the lives, living seems, this work of Pure or Anne or Sarah, or Prue or Anne or Sarah, and it goes on. Another pull out here, I wanted to make sure this had a lot of extra journaling space, a space to put ephemera and all that kind of, or like pictures and whatever else you collect. Um, here I have some of those pocket pages, and this is a pocket from the kit, so I just added a tag and another little piece of funness, another piece of, this is coffee dyed cardstock, again more journaling space, I um, accidentally did this and then uh, my friend convinced me that it looked really cool, so I just went with it, so I, um, inked that up to make it so you couldn't really read the words as well. Some more. This is a sticker from the Dollar Tree. It's one of their poofy, so I thought that was kind of neat to add. Added a tag in this uptuck. Another pocket up here. Oh, I do have something in there. Uh, vintage trim. So this was a lot of fun to put together. I use black soot to ink around this and around these pages I use vintage photo and I'm not really an inker like I didn't ink this pink or this other piece but I just I thought these pages needed it and then these the p book pages I just wanted it to look vintage another piece of Dollar Tree trim another um, Excuse me. Two pockets. Um, more scrapbook paper. This is an old ledger that I have. So I just pulled out a page to stick in here. I liked how the colors worked with this page. Sticker I had. Yeah. I think this is my favorite puppy just because of how his tongue is out. And then there's this. This guy looks sad to me, but it's more of that um, paper from the Dollar Tree. I just cut it into a tag shape. Journal, journal card from the kit. Just some vintage paper that I had. More Dollar Tree tim, trim. This guy just made me chuckle every time I saw him. I am not sure why. This, um... I thought that was cute to just have her peeking out. Another badge from the kit. I just liked how this came together. And then this was just a free printable that I had. So I just folded it up and tucked it in here. I liked 
how it fit with the journal. And then the basket of puppies. Oh, and then one more. That little guy is cute. Again, it's um, my quilt paper. I use that to cover the page. And then came back and added this pocket and more of this composition notebook. And that is it. A couple of journaling pages back here. And I need to sign this. I'm looking for my black pen. Sorry for the reach. So I hope you enjoyed this. So again, I'm going to look for probably a piece of lace that I can put over top of this. Um, I don't necessarily like how the white glue came through, but that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this flip through, and thank you to all my subscribers. I saw that I have a few new subscribers, so I'm excited to have you. And let me know what your thoughts, if you enjoyed this, and I will talk to you later. Bye!